Everyone has their personal opinion. I don't think any tattoos are wrong unless they're badly done. But that is something that I would not personally get. And I don't like it either, no. <laughs> Oh, we Jason momoa in it. Right, I see. Aquaman was such a bad film. They look very realistic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they look very realistic. I knew he had his forearm ones. I, so are you saying the rest are painted on? Aloha, GQ. I'm here to take you through some of my tattoos. Tattoos, not tattoos, tattoos. I'm still very wary of tattooing hands for people's careers and stuff, because it actually can be, they're, well, they're classically known as job stoppers. So I just find it very interesting if someone else doesn't, have tattoos all over them already. I'm not doing that. But within a film, it's just to symbolize that they're a bad boy or whatever, you know, like criminal or superhero. You know, just casually summoning the devil. Oh, it's Angel Gabriel, not the devil. Anyway, still very cool. A lot of stuff like that in films rubs off onto people and what they think about tattoos and people who have tattoos. You know, like stereotypes. So like people in prison and stuff and, People that are like from the streets or whatever, normally seen covered in shit tattoos, do you know what I mean? That's not always the case, obviously. But I think that's starting to change now. I think that is starting to be a more positive, uh, more positive vibe towards tattoos now, which is really nice. Oh my God, doesn't he have a tattoo on his face? <laughs> I love the hangover, it's so funny. What is that on his back? Yeah, no, I don't know, it just looked bad. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. What do you yeah. I, I'm a big fan of like dot work and stipple shading. I know some artists, like some older school artists can see it as um, almost like a cop out for shading. But I, I just think it's made tattoos so much more illustrative. So gorgeous that, yeah, that's stunning. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've seen these patch toes, yeah. They are really cool. They look really cool. Would like to see what they look like healed about five years down the line. Cause some people show healed photos, but it's only after like a couple months or a year. But obviously the ink does not stay like that. That is not a fully, fully healed tattoo. You want to see what those colors and those lines do over time. Cause they, well, I don't know. They, they might stay all right, but I feel like they would kind of blob together over time. But the artistry of it's really cool. Yeah, I've seen these quite a lot. Are there any red flag tattoos that you see on someone that you don't like? <laughs> I, I'm guessing what's gonna come up is gonna be like black and white rose with the clock, with the, you know, eye or realism. It's like a footballer sleeve, you know. Clock here and like a lion? No, thank you. By wire, by wire tattoo. I was gonna say the lions. See, those are ones, again, uh, I would really enjoy doing, but would never get done. Like, the, that's what people were on about, realistic lion in the Red Flags video. I mean, I've done a lot of these tattoos, so I need to be, like, careful about what I say, because the people are lovely. But personally, again, not my, not my um, forte, not my cup of tea for me. But if it makes someone else happy, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, hand, foot, rib, knee, neck, probably. Oh, my hands. Uh, rib cage. Okay. Knee ditch. What's your kind of approach when you know you're doing an ankle tattoo? Oh, warn them it's actually going to be painful. To be honest, I'm, I'm there like, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to, it's going to suck. So then they're, they're, they know what they're in for. And almost, I think that makes them more scared. So adrenaline can kick in more. So then therefore hurts less. You're going to have to give the artist a little more space if you want a result like this. Yeah, that's, that's insane. It's true what you're saying though. Like you will have to go for a bigger piece if you want it to be covered up better. Because if, if you do, do want to cover up the same stuff, you can't really do that unless you black it out. So you're going to have to add it into the composition of something bigger. Um, that was always a thing on tattoo fixes, wasn't it, that everyone was saying. They come in with like a name and then have half a sleeve. Sorry, can you pause it? What was it? What, what is it? I mean, he's done a rose, I can see that. But then what's he done to the Roman numerals? Well, surely you would want to... Oh... No, I personally would, I would shade that in. I would, 
I would fill that in. So you can't see the blotchy red that she wanted to cover up, cover up in the first place. Oh no, I know. I don't want to be a b to anyone. Don't want to be a b about anyone's toes. That's that's bad. <laughs> I think I've just blocked this out of my memory. I have tattooed uh, a husband's name on a woman's f Yeah. Yeah, that's been probably the most... That's when I start to think, why Why am I doing my job? <laughs> Can you see that? What do you suggest we put next to you? This bit where you're talking about that, basically. A lovely flower. <laughs> or... I don't know.